For the past two weeks or so, we have been in Kenting, a beach resort town in the south of Taiwan. We did some sightseeing here, hiked through the jungle and explored some of the many beaches in the southernmost part of the island. But today we are heading east towards the city of Taitung. Although the day didn't really start off very smoothly. Good morning guys, welcome back to Genting. We are leaving today. We spent about two weeks here. No, that's supposed to be our bus. Is that not our bus then? I don't know, maybe not. This is a bus stop, says 9 Genting Express bus. So far not going according to plan, that no. was supposed to be our bus. Anyway, we'll wait for the next one. Yeah, Maybe you were mistaken and it wasn't the right bus. It could be as but well. Today we are traveling to the east of Taiwan. We are traveling to the city of Taitung. Yep. We've been wanting to go there for a while now. Yeah. So we're finally gonna make so our way there. So many people have been recommending us to go to the east coast, to go to Taitung and then afterwards to Walin. So that's where we're going to that's make exactly our way today. That's exactly what our plan is. Assuming the next bus stops for us, you know. Yeah, but there should be another one in about... Sir, please advise, there should be another bus in about... So you're also in. Two minutes, 9188 bus. But this says, this says the Kenting Express bus is a 9189. I don't know, it seems according to Google Maps, only the, say the normal buses run here, not the express buses. But, I mean, there's a really big sign behind me that says Kenting Express bus. Maybe we just walk 500 meters to the next bus stop to be sure. Let's do that then. We arrived to the next bus stop, picked up some water and a nice little steamed barbecue bun at 7-Eleven. I love yeah, these, nice. they're pretty good. I mean, it's just 35 uh, Taiwanese dollar. They're pretty cheap and nice little snack we didn't eat yet. Somehow taking public transport in Taiwan is a bit complicated. I don't know. I don't feel it's as well organized as it could be, maybe because we don't understand. But for example, last night I looked up the timetable of this bus and it had an English timetable, which is really, really great. But then they had four different timetables which showed different hours and there was no explanation of was it like a weekend or holiday or weekday timetables, just four different ones. So I had to like call somebody and for help to find out how late the bus was. And then that bus station was listed on there because I'm sure Kenting Arch was listed on there. But then the bus doesn't stop there. So I don't know, it's, it's kind of difficult here to uh, take public transportation. I feel that could be better. To get from here to Taitung, we have to take a bus first, almost two thirds of the way back to Kaohsiung, where we came from before we uh, got here. Fang Yao. Fang Yao, and then we have to take a train to get to Taitung. In other news, it is so hot here today that you can actually see me sweating through my pants, through my long trousers. That normally never ever happens. So we've been sitting here for 15 uh, minutes? Uh, 20 minutes maybe. 20 minutes. A um, few buses have passed us by but... None of it, them stop here. It's a little bit confusing but we'll get there. Hang in there. Eventually we will get there but it's, yeah it's a bit weird. I mean 20 minutes, it's according to the schedule here, 20 minutes ago there should have been a bus as well. And now there should have been another one but... Two buses have passed and they stop. I don't know. Probably there's some sort of mistake in us reading the schedule. Go to the east coast they said. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> It'll be easy. Well, no one ever said it would be easy, but... Yeah. I don't know, it's, it's also... It's like the song. Nobody said it was easy. Please stop going, singing, Kim. Stop, Making please. Yours? Yeah, people are gonna run away. People are going to unsubscribe from this channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, though. I promise I will stop Kim from singing in the future again. Nobody ah! said... That's a little better, no? Is that oh my, oh god. my god! That's oh. the one! Quickly! So happy that we finally found a bus. Well, found a bus. The bus sort of found us. But anyway, putting on our masks, even though masks are no longer, face masks are no longer mandatory in Taiwan as from a few days ago because the pandemic is pretty well under control here. I think they haven't had a new infection in like. 60 days, about 60 days, they decided to loosen some of the restrictions, including wearing a face mask while on public, public transport. It used to be mandatory, but we're still gonna do it just because it doesn't hurt anyone. It's best to be safer, especially when people are crammed into one small space. We have so many people crammed into one space. Where face are we masks. gonna sit? Face masks. We're continuing our journey separately. 
from other sides of the aisle. Bye bye. Lady, please stop talking to me. At least we have these views to enjoy along the way. Ocean views, look at that. And you can also see the nuclear power plants in the background. sides on that side we have the ocean right next to the road at some point on this side you have the mountains so look there mountains ocean mountains ocean so finding the right bus stop and knowing which bus to take we are now at Bangliao station that may not have been the easy part but this forest tells you when your stop is there so that is pretty easy there you go right. thank you Mm, the train is already there. Always nice. Ooh, this looks nice and comfy. Lush green scenery, the mountains in the back. Even the mountains are very green and the clouds are hugging the mountains as well. We aren't even really in the rural areas yet, but this is right outside the station. These are just this incredible, right outside the city. So East Coast is looking promising, you have to say that. This is actually like really the West Coast, two kilometers off the West Coast. So East Coast is all the way on the other side. Look, the tunnel wants you to shut up as well. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. Let's just pretend that that never happened. Obviously, this is the West Coast. The mountains here are looking promising for the East Coast. That makes perfect sense. But wow, they really are incredible. Look at that, the train rides right next to the ocean as well. Oh, now it's gone. There it is, look at it. Wow. That is amazing. Did you see that? The yeah, train is right next to the ocean. It's so great. Love it. There it is again. The views here are absolutely incredible. You have constant, constant, constant ocean views on this side. And there are continuously mountain views on that side when they're not being blurred out by the occasional tunnel but still absolutely beautiful this part of Taiwan. One thing that is pretty surprising though is that this train is really very loud. I'm not even sure where this noise keeps coming from but it's quite loud. Look at, listen to that, that's the engine sound. And it's a rather new train or at least it looks very well maintained. So we made it to Taitung. We can take off the mask because we're not on the station anymore. We're gonna get a bus here. Another bus. It's not that far to get to Taitung, but so far we already spent like two hours on the bus, one and a half hours, maybe a little bit longer on that train. Some time in the station in between. If I'm being completely honest, this bit of taking another bus is a little bit where I get sort of tired of it, tired of the travel day, like I was under the impression that once we got here, I mean, Nagy's done the research, I haven't really done it myself, but once we got to Taitung, we would magically be in the downtown area, and we would magically get to our hotel really, really fast. That is not the case, so I'm a little bit annoyed because I don't want to take another bus. Thank goodness it didn't take too long for the bus to get here. Finally made it to, I was going to say Kaohsiung, but Taitung, I don't know what I was going to say Kaohsiung. Um, I finally no made idea. it to downtown, downtown Taitung. Uh, finally happy to be here. It took us a really long time to get here. Well, it didn't take that long, but... It did. I mean, it's almost six hours. I mean, it's not that far yeah, but from where not, we started. That's not like a long travel day, though. Six yeah. hours is... In the realm of travel days, it's, it's not true. that much. But we weren't really feeling it today. Now, if you're wondering why we are maybe a bit more negative today, I mean, we just 
having a bit of an off day, I guess. Yeah, we both woke up this morning and we were like, eh. Yeah, like, I mean, we, we were looking forward to going to Daitong and I still yeah, really. we look forward to exploring this place and the rest of the East Coast as well. But, but today is a bit of an off day for both of us, I think. I mean, I didn't sleep that well. When I no. woke up this morning, I was like, eh, not really feeling it. And usually when we start our day and start filming, it gets a lot better. But I think with the bus and then having to transfer and waiting for the bus and then going to the other station and more buses passing by. That too is part of traveling. I mean, yeah, traveling true. in general is lots of fun and we enjoy it 95% of the time. But then occasionally you have these kind of days where you're like, ah, yeah, like, oh, no, the bus like, and now this and now that. Normally and... it's only very occasionally. Yeah. But like since the coronavirus pandemic, we have been having them more frequently, like yeah, even though we're true. super lucky to be here. Yeah, we're having a really good time in Taiwan. Yeah, because but, I mean, we're safe here, we can travel around, but yeah. still, like it sort of weighs yeah. us down sometimes. Yeah, we're full-time travelers, basically our income comes off making travel videos as well and YouTube and all that stuff. And just not being able to travel freely anymore and I mean, it's great to be here in Taiwan. But we still want to go to other countries as well. But at the moment, that's really not possible, and brings just a lot of insecurity. Yeah, that's like, a, that's the thing. I guess the insecurity about yeah. the future. Like, what the heck are we gonna do after? When should we leave Taiwan? What are we gonna do after we leave Taiwan? Yeah, which country are we going to? Will it be safe to go there? Will there be second waves in Belgium and other countries? And it's something that comes up in our conversations almost daily. Not necessarily in a negative way, but just in a way like, okay. With the current situation being as it is, with all the news about the coronavirus that we read in the news today, how does that change things? What do we do after this? What do we do after Taiwan? And most days, aside from thinking about it a bit, it doesn't really bother us, but a day like today, we read some not so great news about the coronavirus in Belgium, that it may start to spread again because there have been some mass protests, etc. And then we're like, crap. <laughs> I mean, we live there. At some point, we're gonna have to go back even just for a little while. Um, but on the bright side, there are two good things about this day. One, no, three good things. Oh, three. One, we have made it to Taitung. Boop, boop. Two, we're gonna have ourselves some beef noodles to cheer, our, to cheer ourselves up. Because we haven't had any beef noodle soup in a while. And I mean, this is still Taiwan. You have to have it occasionally, otherwise you just don't Maybe fit that's in. just a problem. We didn't have enough beef noodle soup. Yeah. And number three, also, for you guys to know, that we are not gonna stop making these videos. If you'll remember at the beginning of this year, when we were in Romania in January, telling you all about the plans that we had for this year to travel, we told you we wanted to make, we wanted to make this work and we wanted to travel for as long as we could until we either ran out of money or ran out of stuff to do and stuff to see that we wanted to see. The second bit we knew wasn't gonna happen. So the <laughs> money is still the constraint, but we're not giving up and we're still gonna try to make this work and continue to make these videos. So. It's not gonna stop anytime soon, not even after we leave Taiwan, but we will see, we will sort it out. First, let's get some beef noodle soup, cheer ourselves up again. So we made it to our hotel, we're just gonna quickly drop off our bags, and then we're gonna go out to get that beef noodle soup. Really looking forward to it. Quite hungry because we didn't have much food aside from a little bit of stuff from the 7-Eleven today, but that doesn't really, really count as food. It's more like a snack, so beef noodle soup sounds good right about now. Checked into our hotel, dropped our bags off, had a little rest. Already, the, my mood has been lifting a little bit. What about yours? Yeah, yours too. Still not 100% like, feeling happy, happy. But uh, now we're gonna go for some beef noodle soup. I think that will be the cure for me. Yeah. Yeah. Using our old friend Google Translate. You can tell we're in a less touristy area than, for example, Canting. There's no English menu available here. Oh, and prices are normal. And prices are pretty low here as well. It's pretty cheap. This looks like a really good spot and has some good reviews too. Uh, found it on Google Maps. We might have over-ordered just a little bit. Yeah, we didn't know the portions would be this big. I mean, we ordered some dry noodles and some pork with rice and stuff like that. So we thought it would be like smaller size portions, especially given that the prices were pretty low, but portions are pretty, pretty big. So we might have ordered a little bit too much, but we haven't really eaten anything today, or anything proper. So I think we'll be able to finish this or most of it at least. So this is beef noodle soup. This is 
um, braised pork ribs on top of some rice and these are dry noodles. I'll start with the beef noodle soup which is why we came here. Uh, just holding this hot bowl of soup makes me happier somehow. <laughs> just really comfort food. Yes, yeah, comfort food. That's good. Oh yeah, that's really good. Really strong beef flavor. That's crazy. Look at this. Look how easily I can bite down on the meat. It is so tender. I barely have to chew it. I'm gonna. <laughs> For safety Please purposes. <laughs> Please do too. Mm. This is really, really good. And here, this also looks really, really good. It looks like it's also gonna be super tender. And like it might just be a little bit sweet. Look at like it might be. I mean, that's probably just wishful, wishful thinking on my end, but looks like it might be honey glazed or something. I think it's honey glazed. Oh, good. Mm. It's even better than the beef. Really? Yeah, yeah. This is mm. really good. Wow, really good. I love it. Nothing else to say. It's good, deep flavor. Perfect uh, cooked noodles. Perfect cooked beef. Finish this meal. Um, enjoy it. Probably gonna feel a lot better after that. We're sorry if you were maybe a little bit negative at times or a little bit more complaining during this video. Um, we try to always be positive and we know you appreciate that as well, but sometimes we just don't have a good day. And since we try to show things as they are, we wanted to show you that aspect of it as well. And it's mostly, like you said, related to everything that's going on in the world. The world is a little bit crazy for everyone right now. So if you're also having an off day, please do know you are not alone. One more thing that I want to say before we leave you and before we enjoy this dinner, is how much we appreciate and how much it has helped us over the past couple of weeks and months the support we have gotten from you. The way this channel has grown in terms not just of subscribers but of views on all our videos and people commenting that they appreciate our videos and saying such nice things about us and about the things we put out that has really helped us a lot during what is without a doubt a difficult time for everyone. We just want to say a really big heartfelt thank you to each and every one of you who watches our channel, who comments, whatever it is that you do, subscribe or not, we appreciate you. Thank you very much. It helps us a lot. All the support we get from you guys uh, with your comments and just watching and just leaving all these good messages and even people reaching out on Facebook or Instagram to help us with stuff. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks so much, guys. If you like this this video, if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Make sure to hit the subscribe button to see what comes next. To see us explore Taitung and the rest of the East Coast here in Taiwan. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Bye bye.